Very good morning and welcome to the Zohra Machodri Cricket Stadium. We're here for the third and final One Day International in the Dutch Bangla Bank Series. This is, of course, between Bangladesh and Sri Lanka. Spin the coin. Tail, Tail is the call. Is the Another toss uh, win for you. What have you decided, uh, Kusal? Uh, bet first. Right now, the news from the middle is that uh, Sri Lanka has uh, won the toss and they will bat first here. Yeah. Good morning to all. Good morning, uh, Farvez. Uh, that's uh, the Sri Lankan team. Morning to you, Arthur. Morning to all our viewers. Just one change, force change that as well. Dilshan Madhusanka. So, spinner as well, that's what he has done. Bangladesh have made some changes, a couple of force changes. Uh, we know that our. Lay well, I reckon 280. Get yourself that. The change they have made, I think, will suit the conditions, suit the situation of the game now that they are batting first. Bangladesh, on the other hand, the three changes for di three different reasons. Litton Das uh, dropped on form. Taijul, because of the conditions and the situation with the wrist spinner coming in, it might have more effect with the grip. The winner takes the trophy. They had a bit of an issue in the last uh, game. Not him going out cheaply. Not only him, they lost uh, three wickets inside the first power play. They were 60 for three. Right, Shulifur Slam among the wickets. Uh, starts the proceeding with the new ball. Straight away, slashing it outside the off stump. Traps him. Give him. The only question is, will he think that it might have just gone the leg side? He's going to have a bit of a chat. And Taskin Ahmed, this time, is going to be the one which is a jack back. Oh, flush on the uh, front foot. Would have gone upstairs, but uh, I think Avishka Fernando, the non strikers, and would have told him. And Patum gone for one of eight delivery, Sri Lanka, one for one. And different players have different methods. That's a beautiful shot. Beautifully played. Kusal Mendis. Confidence oozing. And using the pace, what Shariful Islam did provide. And use the bounce as well. Beautiful boundary. Your well in his crease. Oh, back and across. Touch short. Not that short, but lovely placement. Down the left side. Another loose delivery. And this time through the leg side. Bread and butter for Kusal Mendes down the leg side of freebie. And easy pickings. They're not the right line. And what it does is also releases the pressure. Good seam position. There was a hint of movement also in the air. But just the line. Drifting down the leg side. All he had to do is put back to ball. And there's a boundary. It goes fine. Nicely played. In the gap. Chase is on from mid-off. And beats Snajmuchul Hassan Shanto. The value for strokes in this outfall is maximum. Avishka Fernando totally in control. Nice high elbow. And playing through the line. And that will make him feel so good. Yeah, half volley. A little bit too full. And it's placed that beautifully. Lovely cover drive. Taken. Always the danger of playing away and then the movement of the surface. He's been bowling beautifully. And he gets it on the right line and the length and finds the edge straight to the keeper. He picks up his second wicket. As they say, it's a Jaffa. The line was similar from the previous delivery, only difference, pulling the length slightly behind. And on the walk as well, Avishka Fernando, the base was on there. Fishing outside the Austin and Tuskin Ahmed. Fernando, it's another failure for him, gone for four. Single digits, both the matches, the previous matches. Oh, that's, that's gone through. That'll be a boundary. In the end, four runs gifted for Sri Lanka. Down the ground by Kusal Mendis. Looks like Mustafizur Rahman at mid on. Should have been stopped. Nicely played as well. Kusal Mendis, nice high elbow. There yeah, wouldn't have been a single. With offered and with utmost ease. 
He's played it through the covers. There was a gimme, and he took uh, full toll of that. Yeah, nicely played. Shorter as well, and hence was able to really get a base right and slap that. Not attempting to drive it, it's more a cross bat shot that he does play. But going back to Tuskin's previous over. Oh, once again, with Toffer, and it's been put away. With utmost comfort, that's a terrific shot. Gets him four runs to finish that over. Ten runs from it, 35 for two. That uh, He's been hit for two fours. Will force Ooh. Shanto to make a change. Both times, that's been with. Ooh. Jumped on it very, very quickly. He's been given the opportunity. But as Mendes... Oh, there was a sound, a big appeal, and up goes the finger. There was definitely a sound, and they're all elated. Mustaf is not showing too much emotion, but are they going to go for a review? He's walking Get early in his spell to boost his confidence. Samara Vikrama on the crease, he goes nowhere. That's been the downfall. Seen him bat very, very casually once again. Samara Vikram has gone for 14. Sri Lanka are 41 for 3. Wet and promptly put away to the boundary. That was a freebie and he's not going to miss out on that. Lots of runs under pressure and um, he's been making good decisions. Knowing when to deal in punches. We saw that in the previous game too. Oh, why do don't have a slip in place? That's gone past. If there was a slip in place, I reckon this would have gone straight on to him. Good attempt from this keeper. And remember that the part, that huge partnership. Yes, he's overstepped. Or maybe if there was a slip in place, he would not have overstepped. Who knows? There you go. Would have gone right straight into the hands. But the kind of movement and the bounce that we've seen on the surface. Well, still no slip in place. It's a free hit. He's got a slip in place. Again, cuts, cuts it late, cuts it fine. We'll get the boundary, Chait Asalanka. He picks up the spots so nicely. I came in and the cut shot was on. And he played it late. Charita Salanka has been in fine touch. He's not going to miss out on any opportunity whatsoever. And he puts the bowler, Madison Mirage. Ah, first ball, huge appeal and given. What a start for the leg spinner. What a change. What a change from uh, Nazmur San Shanto. Right on the money. The tall right arm leg spinner. Rishad Hussain starts with the delivery which turned and he poked at it and it's straight into the hands. It's a poor shot in the end from the skipper. The partnership broken. 74 for four. Down the leg side. Spoils the over. Will be wide. It is. As a leg spinner, it's very important to have that control right. I know it's quite difficult. Cuts away for a boundary. Just a touch short. And he latches on to it very quickly indeed. Important to uh, make sure that uh, he maintains the discipline in terms of line and length. Otherwise, runs will come. It's a good story. Uh, Rishad Hussain's story, who made his uh, list A debut. <laughs> Matches over. So have a look at that uh, movement. He cannot believe that it's missed the stump. He came back quite sharply, nearly cut him in half. And Mushfiqur Rahim has done really well. Another peach of a delivery. Totally undone. Chaita Salanka came in sharply, beaten by pace, beaten by swing. And well done behind the stumps as well by Mushfiqur Rahim. Sharp inward movement.
to the left hander, banging his back. Taskin Ahmed we're into the twenty-first over. And a fast Taskin Ahmed ball, beautifully played, beautifully played down the ground, nice hit position, and brings up a boundary. Valiant attempt by Ridoy, but just not quick enough. Oh, just a beautiful shot. The manner in which he played it down the line, didn't try to hit it too hard. Is sort of leaning onto it. Look at this, forward, full face of the bat. And just a little punch away. Terrific shot. And that'll ease some of the nerves and that'll put the pressure on Fizz himself. Full toss and hit away with the utmost confidence. Wow, what a strike that is. Tremendous. Went for six, appreciated by the legend there. And it's 113 for four. Got utmost ease, used his feet, shimmy down the wicket, got a hold of it. Helped himself to half a dozen. Janit Tilege saw the long on fielder was quite square. He saw the big gap between long off and... That's uh, pulled away, pulled away with utmost comfort. Shot. Yeah, bounce attempted by Fizz, did not get up. And Charlie Tassalanka, the form he's been in, he loves it over there. Very strong through the square of the wicket. Horizontal strokes and perfectly placed. Edge taken. Got him. Mustafizur Rahman entices uh, Asalanka to a drive. And Mushfiqur Rahim is not going to miss out on those. They outside the Austrum. The ball was there to be cut away. In the end. Charit Asalanka nicking it behind to uh, Mustafizur. Asalanka gone for 37 and Sri Lanka in trouble. There's the floated one. Uh, Set away, maybe not from uh, the meaty part of the bat. And uh, yeah, hands on head. He thought uh, he had the batsman searching for that shot. Not at all con convincing by Janit Tilege, but definitely effective to break the shackles. With offered full. And throwing the bat at it, Janit Trinagay. And very lucky to go to scoop it over, cow point. Quicker down the leg side. Easy pickings. Can't afford to bowl down that line. You're going to pay for it. That was a pie by Richard down the leg side, firing it in. Janit Trinagay picks the length really easily and quickly. With the square leg in front of square, towards mid wicket this is a freebie safe shot brings up the second boundary in this over catch it is the call oh just gone past mamadullah deep fine leg right mamadullah but lian again he survives not in control how often do we see top edges just flying over the boundary line? Well, Alage goes big. Catch it is the call. And it's taken by Shomo Shorka at deep mid wicket. You're mentioning about accumulating. Well, Alage just throws his wicket away. He sure does. He sure does. It was a struggle for him. It was not the option for me. Because about playing what's in front of you, what's coming. And play the long haul. Play for the long haul. Bottom of the bat as he's through the shot early. That's a dolly to Shomu Shakar. Well, Alage, one of 18 balls. Lovely. Good use of the feet. It's Hasaranga. Ball's been hit offside over long off. That's Hasaranga's area. Brings up the 150. Midoff is in the circle at the moment. Just to finish up, you look at the number of balls. 17 overs means 102 balls. Run a ball gets you 100 runs. There's your 250. Break it down. Moving on to the back foot. He's not been able to pick his spot or hit it as well as he would have liked. It's it hard enough. Over ends with a boundary. 154 for six. 
Bold aim. It was quite obvious he would be giving himself room. He does. Very, very well bowled by Mehdi Hassan Miraj. He showed him the gap and he bowled at middle and leg. Mehdi Hassan Miraj showing his intentions, asking Hasaranga to go after him. One Hindu Hasaranga departs after scoring 11. In good, decent deliveries. And Janit Trinagay brings up his fourth half century. The wickets keep tumbling around him, but the young man have stood tall and made sure Sri Lanka has got to a reasonable position and now in the attack short ball and he picks up the gap beautifully bisecting those two fielders and picks up a boundary yeah Mustafa is replacing Richard from the rocket end and this was a good shot perfectly found gap didn't try to hit too hard went aerial but most importantly, knew where the square leg fielder was. This is a good start. Keep knocking it around. That's played very nicely. Very, very nicely. The placement, absolutely perfect. Lovely use of the feet, shimming down the wicket, getting to the pitch. And uh, that is going to ease a lot of the nerves. And be ready for the fight just like this. Leon again, happy to knock it around, knock it around, hang around. And uh, it's played past the fielder. Very nicely done. Just knew exactly where he's going to play that shot. Just going away. And he cut it perfectly to finish the over with the boundary. 192 for seven. Oh, he swayed away. In the process, managed to get what possibly turned out to be a ramp. What a find for number six. Fourth half century. He's making quality runs. He enjoyed the role on the ground too, I'll tell you. Was that a mixture of a deliberate attempt to get bat on ball at the last moment? Right, that ball. Shown a lot of resilience and a lot of class. A lot of power in that shot. This is terrific. Just turning it on now at the right time. Yeah, he read the play. He knew what length Shuriful will try. Got himself into a good position. He gets into the 80s. Last ball. To slog him. And it's up there and he's got his man. He tried to slog him. That was not the best option. Would have been better to give the strike back to his partner, but he took the wrong choice. And straight away down the throat of the fielder, another one bites the dust. You suddenly see that part time and you think you can rip him apart. He just picks it up. He's made 15, 214 for eight. Tramps it. Not going to get the strike back. He's going to get four runs to finish the over. 49 overs done. 228 for eight. He throws his bat at it. It goes through and it goes to the boundary and he gets his 100. This has been a marvelous innings by Lianage. When the chips were down, he stood up and he played a brilliant knock. And that's when you really do stand up. Madhushan hoiks it high. Now there's a fielder coming. Oh, there. Someone should have called for it. They crashed into each other, hurt themselves in the process, dropped the catch too. So that's two out there, with the batsman and the fielder. He took a heavy beating there when he ran into his teammate, but luckily, B. Joy hangs on to the ball. He doesn't drop it. Three runs to him, Sri Lanka 234 for nine. Hit it hard. That will be on the mind of the batter. Finds the fielder. They're going for the second run. And here comes the throw. I think he's going to be out. And he's out. So that is the innings wrapped up on the last ball. Sri Lanka finish on uh, 235. Took forever, Kumara, to turn around, basically.
Sava staring in question at the non-strikers. And, and nicely done in the deep. And the team is under pressure. Got a bat with the tail and how well he did it. Has given Sri Lanka 235 to defend. Well, the partnerships, uh, there have been some, can be a pretty decent score. The bowling has been very impressive. Taskin Ahmed finishing with three for 42, two for 39 for Mustafizur Rahman. Shomo got a wicket, so did Richard. Couple for Media San Miraj. Right, the target for Bangladesh is 236. We're going to take a... Recently in Colombo in 2024. In the five innings, uh, he scored uh, 240. Uh, it's been a very hot and humid day, and we've already seen... Uh, Down to the dressing room, and he's been replaced as well by uh, Tanzid. Tanzi Dasan play, playing his 14th innings. Initially was not Seema to open the proceeding. Uh, straight away, it's going to be uh, a spinner. Yanamalak Pichoy inside edge. He uh, gets off the mark. Nicely played. It was aerial in the air, but good piece of timing. Just to the right of that fielder at mid off. To the boundary to open his account. Stack any moment off the scene. Just a good shot by uh, Tanzid, the concussion uh, replacement on the up, slightly in the air for a moment, but found the gap perfectly. You do the basic side right for a long time, you will get rewarded, but not this time. Tanzid Hassan playing on the up, ball was a good delivery just outside the off stump, picks it up. Yeah, he's an aggressive player. He has a very aggressive mindset. And it's not a half volley. He's hit that on the up. So he's trusting the bounce. The ball coming nicely on to the bat. So he's not afraid to hit over the top. So this is a good batting. Good options. Pressure is on. Again, too full. Too easy. This time on the offside. Nicely struck. Couple of bounces to the fence. Yeah, shot of authority by Tanji Dasan. By no means it was a bad delivery by Pramod Madhushan. Coming in as a concussion sub. Nice hit position going through the line. That's a confidence booster. Yeah, very nice. Always good to see. Onto the legs and he's whipped it away. And he's gone the distance. What a way to finish the over. 15 in that over. It's 24 without loss. With the last ball of the previous solo, good pickup shot. There was a square leg in place, but it cleared him with ease. 15 in the last second match. Short ball put away. He gets so much time, Tanzi Dasan Tamim. That is a cracking shot. 140 clicks back of the length and picks it up handsomely over mid wicket, couple of bounces. Nice, nice position. Setting himself up pretty early. And then hiking it across. Brilliant. This time he goes down the wicket and somehow he's managed to clear. Goes over the fielder at the third and is gone uh, again for the maximum. Probably wanted to go extra cover. And the pace of what Dairu uh, Kumar is delivering, as well as the bounce this pitch is offering. Any good pace of the bat that is flying across third man fielder. I think it's my stakes and thought for a moment he's in play. But that cleared him pretty easily in the end. Well, he greets Hasaranga with another boundary. One bounce to the fence. It was a little bit too full. And again, over the top of the infield, lovely stroke from uh, Tanji Dasan. A beautiful shot. A lot to like about that stroke. I think that he picked the googly pretty early, played through the line. The invitation was offered with Bidoff in the circle. And thank you very much, says Tanzit. Mahesh Thikson started off with a delivery outside the Austam and Anamul Haq gets the boundary. Bringing the changes. Mahesh Thikson at changes ends. But no joy at all. He's fourth over. Beat of weight. Now for me, just picking up from what the 
Comes with saying, be joy. This time, slightly fuller, straight to the fielder. Anna Mulhak, be joy, can't believe it. That's the break the Sri Lankans needed. Pitched up, he goes hard at it. Avishka Fernando had to time his jump to perfection. Sitting slightly deep in his crease, he picking up the first wicket. And Amul Hakbi Joy gone for 12 50. Apish in the gap, that'll four be four. He tried to hit the top of extra cover, but it sliced away. It's only his temperament that's in question. Yeah, he pointed that straight away to Nathmulo Sanchanto that he wanted to play that over extra cover's head. His hard hands helped him in the end. Played that really hard, sliced it away. Had enough legs to go over the fielder's head. Edged and gone. Nathmulo Sanchanto. Departs. That short ball in the previous over from Lahiru Kumara was well bowled. And this is the result. His feet go nowhere. You saw that first delivery from him. And here's the second one. He's caught on the crease, throwing his hands at it. The two slips wait, but they're not needed because Mendes, it's Bangladesh's captain, who's gone for one. We're just better. That's the line. Quick running between the wicket by Tawhid Vidal. Oh, deflection will go to the fence for four. <laughs> yep, five runs, nothing you can do about that. But the drop and run should never have been allowed from a fielder's point of view. Did he need to throw it? I don't think so because Janit Lienage was late on it. Bridoy was already... And the right moment is there for the moment. There it is. Played away very nicely, very comfortably to get to his 50 in just 51 deliveries. Yeah, second ODI 50. Seizing the moment, the young man. Down the wicket. Gives him the charge. Gets the boundary. That's been eluding them for a while. That was on the cards. You, you called it and you've got it. Tansi, it's... it's was itching for a while to get that boundary. He's been poked down by some brilliant bowling by Vanindu as well as Pramod. It had to happen. This time it was a slow ball, then forceful. Over extra cover for a boundary. Powerful shot. Yeah. Mm, now, what about that? Chase on. And the ball goes through first to the boundary. Agonizing it close to uh, Sanara Chigi. What to put the dive out? Reluctantly did not do it, but a good shot again. The best thing about Tanzi Dazan, whenever he wants to hit a boundary, he's trying to hit straight down the ground as much as possible. That's been the hallmark of this innings. This is a decent delivery, back of the length. Shows how good the pitch is. It's just playing through the line. Goes down the wicket again. Up it and drop. What a fantastic diving effort that was almost had the wicket that would have mattered 19 overs done it's 94 for two for vanidu hasaranga who's just popped in to the dressing room and certainly for me he saved four runs there not the time for sri lanka yeah things have not gone their way look at the anticipation because he had to cover some ground when the shot was hit. Come back after some treatment. King just uh, swinging it around, getting four runs, drifting in line, and he's paid the price. And Kusal Mendes is applauding Charita Salanga. It was a decent delivery. Midland leg stump. Risk been taken again by the left hander Tanzim. With that boundary brings the 100 up for Bangladesh. The square leg was in front of square, near mid wicket. Short ball, there's a chance, there's an opportunity taken. And it is uh, once again, Lahiri Kumara, who's picked up uh, an important wicket, that of uh, Ridoy. He goes. Ooh. 
Tahid Ridoy trying to cut loose. Try to play that down the ground, but top edge. Yeah, that's what he's trying to practice. He departs after scoring 22. Construct those big knocks. Talking about big knocks, Tanzit Hassan Tamim goes big down the ground for a six. Look, he's a wonderful player. I mean, I have no problems with that. If the ball is there, you take the bowler on and you clear the boundaries. He's more than capable of doing that. It's in the slot. Nothing wrong in the shot right from the middle part of the bat. That is a cracking shot. But at times, it seems that he wants to hit every ball. I mean, that's where he needs to adjust and adapt. Edge. Yeah, he's walking. Lahiru Kumara strikes, and Mahmudul Ariyat. Lahiru Kumara is, is bowling a dream spell here. Remember, they've gone in with two seamers, and he's been the pick of the bowler. Lovely delivery, just enough shape to get an outside edge and straight to the keeper. Look at that reaction from Kumara. Yeah, didn't wait for the umpire's decision, straight away walked back. So Mahmudullah goes. Another wicket falls. Bangladesh, 113 for four. Crunch tag. Tanzi Tamim. The big six to end the over. Nine runs from it. Bangladesh, 122 for four. Stroke from left-hander Tanzi Tamim. It was short, but the connection, the sound of the bat was sweet, and it was written all over. They slapped it away. Was in a good position and well appreciated in the dugout attacking move. He picked up his wicket. He's uh, swept that away into the gap. Should be a boundary. It is a boundary. Go and pick up boundary. Vacant area. Good shot. Picked up the googly as well. There was a vacant area. Deep mid wicket. No fielder in place. And that's his go to stroke. Mushfiqur Rahim. Kept the bowlers thinking. But just the last. There you go. He goes again for a big shot and pays the price. Too many dot balls cost him the wicket. It's the intensity going after every delivery, whether it's boundary or six. You're talking about he's dealing in boundaries and looking to hit each and every delivery, not to the pitch of the delivery. And he knew he was in trouble the moment he played that shot. He's a class act, one in the Hasaranga, and he proves a point one more time. Out. Tanzit Hassan Tamim goes. Impressive 84 of 81 to leave. Uh, drifting down the leg side. That is a poor delivery. Just releases the pressure. He'll go to the boundary. He goes for his favorite uh, shot. And he gets the runs that he's been looking for with a maximum. I think made it look so very easy. And that's bread and butter for Mushfiqur Rahim. That's his favorite arc, mid wicket, slot sweep. The invitation was offered with mid wicket and mid on in the circle. And Mushfiqur Rahim accepts it with open arms. Early on in the over, putting the pressure back on Dunitwal Lalage. After that stroke, short mid, drops down to deep mid wicket. Short, swivels round, gets a hurl of it, gets four runs. That was a gift offered. And uh, he's accepted it gleefully. That's a good shot. Bisected that gap perfectly. Ball couple of bounces in the last over. Attempting another bouncer. Did not get high enough. Nicely played. Rolling his wrist over. Getting important boundary to break the shackles. Yes, indeed. And uh, when you're in a, in a mindset, when you're on the defense, sometimes you miss an opportunity. With that kind of loose delivery, but he didn't take the game away. Shivels now, that's gone over just. Oh, he must have had his heart in his mouth for a while. The bowler thought he had his man, not in absolute control, but enough on the bat to take it over. They're going to have a boundary check. The field as Kualik was about 10 feet in front. If he had stayed back. Yeah, he didn't uh, judge the trajectory of the ball. See, Madhi. Just not timing it properly. They was in the air for quite a long while. I think that uh, Nilage was 
uh, just walking in, and by the time he realized the trajectory, just... Asaranga, short ball. Has he got enough? No, straight into the hands. Uh, wicket, an important breakthrough. He cannot believe his luck, but it is Hasaranga. An unlikely delivery. Mehdi Hassan Miraj's challenge was to hit it before it bounced the second time. That's how short it was. No one could believe it. Even Madhushan couldn't believe it. How he ended up hitting it to backward square leg. Miraj gone for 25. Well, you we were talk about sixes. He started his innings with a six. What a way to start his innings. Really tonked it away for the maximum. Where did that come from? He's continuing from where he left off. He gets the middle of the bat this time. The challenge is on for Hasaranga, but the only problem is not... Shot. Well, he's not uh, hanging uh, around, is he? He uh, already has a six to his name, the first delivery that he faced, and now... He slogs again. He's got hold of that. Right in the gap. I think that fell on the cushion, so that will be another six. The last time he batted against the Sri Lankans was in the 30-20 international when he smashed his way to 53 of 30. More pressure on the Sri Lankans. Oh, nicely played. It's a tickle, fine tickle. It goes to the boundary. Important runs. 200 on the board. And all of a sudden, they got the wicket, Sri Lanka. You thought they had an opening, but a partnership of 22 off just eight balls. He's a clever player. He knows to steal runs if needed, Mushfiqur Rahim. That's what he does. He jumps inside the line. Gets it fine. Shouts of catcher. He's gone for it. This could be trouble. Oh, just fall short of the fielder. And it goes to the boundary. He's got away with that. Well, Alage tried. Too much to do. Wants to finish this in a hurry, Richard. He's picked his spot. He certainly has that occasion. Deliveries. Oh, shot. Oh, yes, he's nailed that. That's gone all the way to this. Another six. That is serious hitting. And they're loving it. And why wouldn't they? They're getting closer to that target. They're eyeing their second series win against Sri Lanka, as you just mentioned. But for me, this is the game. He's rolled the dice, Kusal Mendes. He knows Rishad will only do one thing. He's going to try and hit it. But if he misses, he goes again. He gets it. Mendes knew this would happen, but he was trying to buy a wicket. He had to take a risk. He did, but so far not working. 15 needed. Well, he's exactly repeating that innings, that particular inning, innings that we're referring to that came in the T20 International. He's met seven sixes. And the first two deliveries this oh. over have gone for sixes. Oh, at the back four. This is a boundary. This is a gem of an innings. What a little, nice little cameo. This is from uh, Rishad Hussain. 40 or 15 to Rishad Hussain. And Hasaranga feeling the pressure, that's why he changed his length. The first two, like in the previous over, tossed it up. But this length probably won't work, and I think Richard... Toss it up. Yeah, you toss it up, and I'm going to hit you out of the ground. This time, one bounce to the fence. And with that boundary, the 50 partnership comes on in quick time. Just 21 deliveries. 6-6-4-4, six, six, four, four. it's 20 in the first four deliveries. What an innings this is turning out to be from Rishad Hussain. Simply brilliant. Roll the dice, hit it, Kusal Mendes. It's just not worked. It's worked for Bangladesh, though. Oh, one more time. This time you might find the villain. No, he doesn't. It's one bounce to the fence. It's 4 more. Bangladesh need three runs to win the match and win the series. What a shot that is. What an innings, he's having a ball with the bat. He's hitting the ball with the bat. 
This is tremendous. Moment it's tossed up, wherever it's going, whether it's a wrong and a leg break, he's swinging at it. And he's getting... It's it's through. Is it going to be over? I reckon it's over. Yes, it's a boundary. And punch in the air. Bangladesh go on to win this one. And also win the series 2-1. They can celebrate, they sure can. They played some wonderful cricket, handled pressure moments well. And coming to the third game, the decider, they got a lot more out of the pitch earlier on. Their bowlers, contributions in all three games, his efforts behind the stumps, the senior man. Bijoy and Tanzit, 50 at the top. Ridoy again, hanging on with Tanzit to put 49 together. You know, they struggled apart from Lahiri Kumara, who was, I thought, very good with the ball. Four for 48 in eight overs. Hasaranga and winning by four wickets. 237 for six. With 58 balls to spare. Outstanding win for Bangladesh. It's a team which shows belief. For more updates, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Download T Sports app to enjoy exciting games and highlights. Visit tsports.com.